his way into the ring and into the blue corner, accompanied by his manager, Roach, here is Ron El Tejanito Guerrero. And entering the ring now with his manager, Roach. Here is Ron Guerrero. In the corner of Ron Guerrero. Ron Guerrero, the veteran, we've seen him before, taking on Tony the Tiger Thompson. And I'm, uh, he's got one loss to his uh, record, 15 and one. You know, uh, Larry, I've seen, uh, I've seen Ron before too. In fact, I've seen him inside the ring. We're gonna talk about that after the official introductions. Let's go to Mark Barrow. Ladies and gentlemen, Cedric Kushner Promotions presents this heavyweight contest scheduled for five rounds. Your referee is the sensational Steve Smoger. Introducing now the principals first in the red corner to my left. Wearing uh, the black trunks with the white trim, weighing in at 243 pounds. His professional record, 14 victories, one defeat, and seven wins coming by way of knockout. Hailing from Silver Spring, Maryland, here is Tony the Tiger Thompson. Thompson. His opponent in the blue corner, wearing the silver sequin trunks with the black trim, weighing in at 236 pounds, professional record, 15 victories, five defeats, two draws, and 10 wins coming by way of knockout, hailing from Corpus Christi, Texas, here is Ron El Tejanito Guerrero. Guerrero, five rounds, heavyweight. Probably going to be Tony Thompson's toughest test to date, the veteran Ron Guerrero. How'd you do with Ron Guerrero? Actually, uh, we got a draw. I felt I won the fight, but nevertheless, they gave us a draw in an eight-round fight. Uh, but he's a tough guy. You know, I put a lot of combinations on him, a lot of punches on him. Went to the body, went back to the head, back to the body. You know how they say it in the gym, body, head, body. But uh, he stood up and um, got a draw. Tony Thompson's on a pretty good roll right now. He has won 12 in a row. And you see a tall, long southpaw. They're listed at six foot, Jamil, but you know what? I, I know Tony Thompson. I have to tell you, he's from my hometown, Silver Spring, Maryland, and he's a little taller than six foot. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I don't know why they got him lifted at six foot. Tony Thompson took up boxing just three years ago. Guerrero's hurt. Guerrero's hurt early. Guerrero is hurt. Trying to stay within the range of his punches and trying to take away some of the leverage of Tony Thompson. And he is just hammering away at the dome of Ron Guerrero. And Guerrero's going to have to do something. <laughs> He's just holding Thompson right now. Oh, wow. He banged him up already there. He's hurt. Look at the eyes swelling already around the eyes of Ron Guerrero. Thompson just throwing down early here in round one. I mean, Guerrero's going to have to come up with a game plan here on the fly. He's fighting a tall southpaw. There's not a lot of them out there. No, there isn't. Up and again rattles the skull of Ron Guerrero. Ron Guerrero's a tough guy. You know, he can uh, take a lot of punishment. Not necessarily the way you win. 
Guerrero throwing from a distance, and you can see the reach advantage of Tony Thompson. Coming behind the right jab. Guerrero just way out of range. And the right eye of Ron Guerrero already swelling shut. I think the reason why he's out of range is because uh, he feels the power of uh, Thompson already. Tony Thompson, 14 and one, seven wins by knockout from Silver Spring, Maryland. The home of me. Yes, truly Larry. We're really What's doing it like in Silver Spring? Very nice. Suburb of Washington, D.C., right on the northern border. That's Sugar Ray Leonard country up there, I gotta tell you. You know, I met Sugar Ray Leonard this week for the first time. Did you really? Yeah, it was a good nice, nice experience. He is a good guy. Very unpretentious. I agree. And Tony Thompson has really dominated the first round of this fight. You can see he's barely breathing heavily. Mike Rare, like you say, though, is a tough guy. End of one. Rough round for Ron Guerrero, round one. That must have seemed like an eternity for Guerrero. Yeah, he definitely got hurt. Um, Thompson uh, put some early power on him. But, you know, I don't know why Thompson stopped the attack there. I don't know why he did that. Ron Guerrero coming out with a little more fire here in round two. Tony Thompson told me before tonight's fight that he has been working, trying to build strength, working with some weights. That used to be an absolute no-no back in the old days. Do you work with weights ever? You know, I work with pretty much everything. I work with weights. I swim. I do yoga. I uh, I work with hip, 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 I work with hypnosis. Um, you name it, I do it. I cycle and I do all this in uh, a ten-week camp. So if it's going to get you stronger, it might not be bad for you. No. All this bit about being muscle-bound and all this. You know, if you do it the right way, uh, with the right people guiding you through it, um, I don't see any harm in it. In fact, I see nothing but uh, gains on my part. Again, Ron Guerrero in a corner, wrong place to be. Maybe it's part of his strategy to try to get a little closer to Tony Thompson, but the Tiger just rips him with another left hand. Guerrero's been in against a lot of tough competition. My partner here, just one of them. Tony Thompson's never been in against someone of the likes of Ron Guerrero. In fact, Tony Thompson's early, only loss came to Eric Kirkland, who at the time was an unbeaten, highly touted heavyweight back in uh, July of 2000. Tony Thompson has not lost since. And he wanted Kirkland again, but he hadn't been able to find him. And Eric Kirkland, I think, since has lost. He's no longer unbeaten fighter. So, Eric Kirkland beat Thompson? Thompson getting too close. Thompson needs to, to learn a lot. Just a young guy, not, not very long in the boxing business. I say young, he's 30 years old, but he's only been fighting for three years. Ron Guerrero bringing the heat a little bit here. You know, and as a heavyweight, uh, we mature later. Tony Thompson doesn't want to be up against the ropes. That's for sure. Tony Thompson slowing down a little bit here, Jamil. But Ron Guerrero not taking advantage. Uh, he, he's been he's been beaten up pretty good in the first round and a half. Slowing Two down, rounds. but effective never, nevertheless. Right hand on the inside by Thompson. Now the left eye of Guerrero beginning to swell shut. 
Another crisp left hand on the inside by Thompson, and a right hand as his left is being held. He's pounding away with the right hand. When he chooses to give himself uh, some, some room to get up his shot, I think Thompson, I think Thompson's going to uh, be more, a little more effective. Ron Rizzo to the commission table, please. Thank you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. See Ron Guerrero's face there. Certainly has been on the receiving end of most of this first two rounds of action. And Jamil McLean, how do you have it scored after two? After two, I have uh, Thompson up two, two nothing. Two rounds to none. Thompson. Guerrero trying to show some fire here, trying to show some aggression. But Thompson's a very difficult opponent. But not your typical heavyweight in terms of height and reach. I mean, he's like, he's, he's about as big as you almost. Yes, he is. Ron Guerrero got a nice right hand counter there. He did. You can see the perspiration sprayed off the dome of Tony Thompson. Thompson doing the right thing, though, going right back to that jab. Thompson continues to work as Guerrero up against the ropes. Yeah, Thompson is showing his inexperience by uh, just leaning on his mane, trying to get his shots off as opposed to... What step. would you do? I would step back a step and a half and just uh, put him on the end of my punch. Yeah, I don't think Guerrero could really react if he did it in time. No, he couldn't. Nor could he react if he did it and stayed there. Even if he did have time, I don't know. Just a bigger, more athletic man. And he's not using it uh, to his advantage at all. Thompson continues to punch away while Guerrero is up against the ropes. Not a, an aesthetically beautiful fight right now, but certainly effective. A little blood from the side of Ron Guerrero's nose now. Certainly effective for Tony the Tiger Thompson. Yeah, he, he, I mean, although his style is not effective against uh, Ron Guerrero, he's got him pretty banged up. A little sharp puncher. If he steps back and, and let, if he steps back a step and a half, I mean, Ron Guerrero will walk into his jab and hook all night. Thompson is moving in. In fact, cutting his own distance down. Guerrero's got a lot of heart, though, you can see. He's, Giving it everything he's got. Thompson has Guerrero pin. Guerrero again holding the left arm of Thompson. Now they switch arms. It's almost like one arm against one. The way this fight is unfolding. Tony Thompson, Ron Guerrero, doing his best with the bigger, more athletic man, really dominating the action through three rounds. Ron Guerrero taking a look back at action from round three. 
Ron Guerrero scores, it, and that, that's exactly what you were talking about, Jamil. Tony Thompson could use a little distance. Yeah, it looks like uh, it looked like he didn't create enough distance there for himself on that attack, and uh, Ron made him pay for it. Through three rounds, how do you have it scored, Jamil? I have it uh, three rounds to uh, nothing, Thompson. Still, I still think he's ahead, and. Uh, Ron Guerrero's not doing anything to change that. With Tony Thompson showing a little movement here now. Round four, Guerrero. Doing his best to try to close that Very distance. Nice. Yeah, I, think maybe he, I think maybe he warmed up a little bit. He's showing some movement, stepping around, changing angles. Now let's see if he gives himself the distance we've been talking about. Nice left hand by Tony the Tiger Thompson. Guerrero turns southpaw, trying to find a, a way through the defense of Tony Thompson. Desperation move by Guerrero, turning southpaw. Yeah, that's what it appears to be. Eyes of Ron Guerrero showing the effects, mostly from the first round. Ron Guerrero turning southpaw. Does that does that help him fight the southpaw fighter? You know, I, I couldn't tell you because I've never done it before um, against the southpaw. I've uh, switched up early in my career uh, a couple times. Once my coach told me not to do it, so I never did it again. So you're coachable is what that means. I guess so. <laughs> Maybe that coach wasn't giving me the right advice. Yeah, you never know. This fight's slowing down a little bit here as Tony Thompson is Really spent four rounds pounding away on Ron Guerrero. Another good shot inside by Thompson. Becoming more and more of a, a Guerrero type of fight on the inside, but he's not taking advantage of that distance. This is Guerrero's game without a doubt on the inside. He's a shorter, smaller, more stout guy who favors this type of fight. Thompson has Guerrero up against the ropes again, the closing seconds of the fourth round. Guerrero trying to flurry off the ropes, but to no avail, the end of the fourth round. The final round for Ron Guerrero and Tony Thompson. This should be easy for Ron. He's gone eight with me, he's gone ten other, uh, one or two other times I've seen. Um, Tony Thompson, Jamil's only gone six round three times. Nice sharp left hand by Thompson. Yeah, that is what that distance can bring you, isn't it? Absolutely. He finally figures it out in the last uh, fifth and final round. What do you think of Tony Thompson as a prospect, Jamil? Obviously, young to the sport, though not young in age. How far can this kid go? He can go pretty far. Put on a couple of pounds. Uh, 
uh, work on his plyometrics, uh, which will help his uh, lateral movement, and uh, he can go, he can uh, beat a couple guys. Guerrero certainly has not had the answer to Tony the Tiger Thompson tonight. Pretty good defense too. Very good. It's uh, funny you say that. Rob Guerrero just threw six, seven punches in middle lane. Not only does Thompson hold his hands high and a good posture, but he's got a good pullback, step back move, and pulls back from punches. Now got a clash of heads here, and neither man has been cut. And Rob Guerrero has been hurt. I wonder if Ron Guerrero was hurt by that headbutt there. Maybe. We've seen that happen before. Saw that happen to Shane Mosley against Vernon Forrest in their first fight. Yep. Forrest went, went, uh, went on to win the title. Yes, indeed. Good professional performance by Tony the Tiger Thompson from Silver Spring, Maryland. Tony the Tiger. Tony the Tiger. And he came out very quickly, established his dominance early. And busted Ron, it. Yeah, busted Ron Guerrero up early and really did a good job. Ron Guerrero holding his eye. I think that he really can't wait for this fight to end. His eyes are both swollen, and Tony Thompson just keeps on firing away with that pinpoint precision jab. Really, he didn't use the jab much. Big left hand by Tony Thompson, and Guerrero is stunned. The fight comes so close, it's obvious that Thompson uh, Pulled away and stayed away. No question. Good sportsmanship between these two. Ron Guerrero has a little bit of a cut next to his left eye. And look at this. You gotta like it. Mutual respect. Ron Guerrero and Tony the Tiger Thompson. The fans here at the Hamptons loving the action tonight. It's summer punch. All the beautiful people out in the Hamptons. Does that include us? Oh yeah, definitely. Tony Thompson gets it done inside the ring. I think he wanted the knockout, but he didn't get it. Ron Guerrero is a tough guy. Tough to put him down and out. Action for the fifth round as Tony Thompson closed out the show nicely against Ron Guerrero, even though there was a clash of heads. And here's a look right here. Clash of heads coming up right there. Ooh. And in fact, that did cut open Ron Guerrero a little bit above the left eye. Look at how this fight ended. Tony Thompson had Guerrero up against the ropes. I, I'm kind of thinking that if this fight had gone a couple more rounds, Tony Thompson might have taken him out. What do you think, Jamil? I agree because his eyes were closing and he was, he was wincing and had no response to a lot of things that uh, Tony Thompson was doing, although although he's a tough guy, looked like he I was. Uh, deal, right? Get the decision. Get the decision from Mark Farrell in the ring. Good job, brother. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a unanimous decision. Judge Louis Rivera scores the bout 49-46, and judges. Tommy Kazmarek and Bob Gilson both see it 50-45 all to the winner by unanimous decision Tony the Tiger Thompson Thompson Tony the Tiger gets a fight of Ron Guerrero tonight he runs his record to 15-1 Thompson the winner here at Summer Punch